welcome back everybody um you can hear our chickens because i'm pretty darn close to them up there and uh i'm at, in, actually in the garden here and i was just kind of checking everything over you know since this decided to be a, a yard <laughs> you know and the grass all grew up in it <clears throat> after my husband had cleaned it all out but i'll turn you guys around and show you what i was doing but i just wanted to say welcome back and let's see what we can get ourselves into today so i know i probably said this in other videos but goal today for my husband is getting the corral where is it at i can't even tell in the oh right there right there that moved over to this area so that is the goal today Elijah and I did get panels moved over to where the goat pen will be at. I counted how many posts we have. I think we have just enough posts to put up the girl's pen, the junior buck's pen, and then that would be it. And then we got to take all this down to be able to put the buck pen up and maybe, maybe Odessa and the baby's pen if they all don't get along and they're beating up the smaller does, so... I have to see how that goes but with that being said let's see what we can get ourselves into right now I just had that grasshopper fly into me so my strawberry runners um, I was thinking that they weren't gonna make it but they have perked back up this one right here is my only one that I'm kind of worried about but everybody else has seemed oh and this one right here I'm not so sure that one made it but everyone else seems to have perked back up. I really do have to watch, though, the soil. Because this soil dries out quick. Now, this is my poppy um, seeds that I threw. And it says it could take up to 20 to 28 days to sprout. And I'm thinking that these that are sticking up are probably the seeds. But I'm not for sure. So I thought I would just stick them back down in there maybe a little bit. But I'm, I don't know. I thought they were black. Little round seeds. But I like I said, I, I really don't know. And then um, I want to announce too that our two little kittens we rescued did pass away this morning. So <coughs> they are buried. This is my cone flowers, and as you can see, we have a sprout there, and there, there, and there's some more coming up. So I'm pretty happy that this actually sprouted as quickly as it did. And then this is my hollyhock, and I've actually got one sprouting right there, one trying to sprout right there. So we will see if any more sprout. There were 50 seeds that I planted for that. There were some 500 seeds for these, so we'll see. And then I think there were 50 seeds of these, too. So we'll see how many actually come up. Our cantaloupe. We've got one little one there. That's uh, the first one that came up. Then we've got another one right down there, if you can see it. Um, I cannot find any more that I've noticed. I've got one pickle growing. This is a dill pickle pickles. Um, that it's about ready. It's about yay long, but I've already done all my pickles up, so I can't like try to pick it right now and try to save it. Um, these are my jalapenos plant, and this one has got flowers galore. And then you can see jalapenos there's quite a few on it actually my habanero this is my habanero plant um, it's that one and then this one's got little flowers finally on it so maybe we'll get some habaneros I don't know um, the peas are pretty much are dying off I should say they're pretty much done I'm just leaving them here 
because there were a few little smaller pods that weren't quite ready. That one feels like it might be. See, these ones are too thin, so they're not even ready yet. But it's still trying to produce them. The green beans are actually blooming now. I've got blooms everywhere on this plant. And when I mean everywhere, I mean everywhere. They're everywhere. Got them way down here. Got them in here. I mean, they're, they're everywhere on this plant. So I should get a decent amount. Oh, oh, I just stepped on my... A decent amount of green beans, hopefully. It's a hoping. And this is trying to grow. I just stepped on it. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. It's got little flowers on it. And this, I thought, was a spaghetti squash, but I was wrong. It's a butternut squash. So that's what that one is. My, um... See our corn, our sweet corn is actually trying to produce an ear. We've got some little crooked nut squashes down here. This this one's got quite a few on it, but nothing ready to pick yet. This is another one. Lots of flowers. I already had picked a squash from there. My zucchini. This one's got a little one right there. You can see, and then another one started. This one, I just picked a pretty nice size one off, which it's got still some flowers on it, which is good. All my corn that's tasseling, which is not much. Um, the asparagus, we still have some coming up, as you can see. And it's just going to seed because that's what I'm letting it do. Got some new newlies here that are trying to come up and seed. So I'm just letting it do its thing. Just letting it go. Hopefully next year we can actually do a harvest. And then our pepper plants here. These are our bells. These are going to be our orange ones here. So we got a nice big one right there. These are our um, banana peppers, which they're loaded with them. We got peppers all over them, and they fell over. This is another orange, I believe. It's got flowers all over it. This is a yellow, which it's got flowers on it. Not any actual um, peppers. But this is the other yellow one, and this has got peppers galore on it. This is a red one, I believe. Yep, my reds. So it went yellows, oranges, reds, and then my banana peppers. So this red right here, I don't see anything on it. And then this red is in the middle here. This one has got flowers on it. So I'm hoping to see some from there. Tomatoes. Tomatoes, tomatoes, tomatoes. We got plenty of tomatoes. I'll go ahead and pick this one because it's ripe enough. A little cherry tomatoes. Just making sure I'm not missing any. Actually, I probably could pick those two right there. Also, I think I'm going to. I didn't notice them on this side when I did that. That's because of that. Shoot, I dropped one. Um, come back here, where'd you go? I actually, I think I put that on there and I made a salad. I'm going to put these over next to where my zucchini's at. And I'll bring you guys back to this pot. So, it's my nice little zucchini. I like them smaller because they're a lot more tastier that way. I want to make some fritters pretty soon. But the tomatoes. Got some pretty nice ones. What is this? I keep stepping on that. The rock. 
I was hoping that these would turn pretty quick, but they haven't. But we've got tomatoes, pretty nice sized tomatoes at that too. Can make some green fried tomatoes. And then my little heads of lettuce. That one's probably the one I'm going to harvest first, it seems like. They're just not getting that big. They're getting ate up. A lot of destruction being done with them. But this is my second year trying to grow these. Not purple ones, but I tried growing regular green ones last year. And they didn't do for squat for me. And then cucumbers. I figured we would check together. And right here's one. Really nice, big, straight eight. I thought I'd seen another one down here. Oh, there's two right there growing. There's one right there. Small ones, I'm saying, small ones. There's one growing right there. But yeah. The strawberries. My herbs. Which is not much left, but beautiful little um, lavender. <laughs> like, what the heck is that? I want to be able to pull all this out of here eventually, put it in one of those type of beds once we get all this taken care of the way that we want it. But that is that. Blueberries are pretty much done. I've got a couple here I see. Delicious. I figured these were done. I don't think I had any more on there. I need to weed this again. Guys, are a little better today. I was going to get loud when some babies see me. She was laying down. My husband said he's hoping if we get up early enough over the weekend, if it doesn't rain like it's saying it should, we should have everybody moved. So we'll see. Today is Tuesday, August, what is the date today? There's one panel up, I can't even, I don't even know what date it is. It's the second week, so it's got to be around the 8th or 9th, maybe. Anyways, um gonna go three panels that way and then come up and my husband actually did not want the gate where I was planning on putting it so we're gonna go there's another panel there's another panel here's another panel so probably four to five panels this way I have an extra panel because he wants the actual gate to be over here somewhere so then he can just bring a bale in and drop it wherever he feels it needs to be but we're supposed to stay on this side of this 
this fence or this tree right here. So about right here will come up. Just come past it and then come back this way. So I think I need one more panel, which I have up there. And then I didn't think I had enough posts to actually put those up for the junior bucks. But I have six more of these posts. Six or seven more. So I know I'll have enough to do it. So I was going to try to put a couple panels up myself. See where I can get. Doing laundry. I'm doing a beef vegetable soup tonight. So I got to get that started so it can be sautéing too. And just go from there. I got to run to the store still tonight when my husband gets home to get some more dill pickling stuff that I need to finish my other dill pickles that I've got ready to just put the brine in and then do a hot bath for them and uh, go from there. But yeah. Soon everything will be up. My husband said that today, if we can get that moved over there and get Jill in there, he's going to start then getting the skid steer back out and clearing all this and moving all the wood so we can get all this cleared up. It would be this, but he said he doesn't want to try to be putting fence up with all them briars and stuff, even though I know the goats would eat them, but... I see what he means. So thank you everybody for watching. Please subscribe if you're new. Thank you to all our new subscribers and thank you everybody tomorrow. God bless. Whew. I have to say everyone. Whew, I'm about wore out. I've got to go inside and put my laundry. So I'm trying to do laundry too today. I think I already had said that. But here I've got all these up. And I just have them tacked with wire until we get the clips. But I mean, this would still be strong enough to put the goats out into it if my husband decided that that would be okay. So I took that last panel here and I curved it because actually it brought it way out here. And my husband wants a path skidster length through here because we're putting the gates on the back side of these so then he can just put bales in right you know off of the gate into there so I shortened it just to come up around this and then I'm gonna after I get back from being inside I'm gonna put this next panel up which will be this one and then I'm gonna measure whatever the girls is post to post for their wood post is I'm gonna measure that come out here and mark that from our gate and then go again for another round of um and actually I think possibly just just one more right here and then the gate and maybe just a little corner piece that I have over here to extend it out a little further to where I'd want this to come down I think that's all I'll need I won't need a whole nother panel which I do have but the ideal is to this fence would probably be about right here I'm thinking because I have three panels coming this way and that's what I really need to watch for is to make sure I still have my three panels coming that way but <clears throat> God willing I will have this pin up today <laughs> okay so I measured from the outside post of the girls' gate post to the outside of the gate post, which was 99 and a half. So these little stakes that I got here are at 99 and a half, which we could then nail these end of these panels into the gate. And that's what I'm trying to do here. So that's how I wanted to do that. And I got one more 16 footer. And now I'm going to start going back this way, like I had said, on the corner here. And there's where my middle of the post is, or middle of the panel, and then the end of the panel right there. So I'm going to get this one put in, and then get it tied 
to this and this one and then I'll get this one put in and then I'm going to drag the next one up which I think I only got this is the last one I think or is there one more there's one more going down okay so that being said I mean we've only got two coming this way and then I've got an extra one right there too which I'm gonna have to have Elijah take the post out around where their chicken coop used to be and grab that one that we had um, covering their food and I'll have to use that one in here somewhere probably down at the bottom because I'm just going to keep going until I need that panel. And then that one that's on there I'll just use for our hay feeder. Because how we do that is you wrap a cattle panel around your bale and you can put some clips on it. And then they stick their heads through the squares. Because our goat's heads are small enough they can stick it through there. And then there's less waste. And then I think that I'm just going to have my husband put the round bale right here. Because it's more on the flat surface here. I don't think it'll get much water into it. It's underneath these two. Or these, this big tree right here in this one. I'm going to have to watch the goats to make sure that they don't eat the bark. Because if they do, then I'm going to have to put wire around. I don't want them killing these trees. We want them to have some shade in here. But this is going to be a pretty decent size pen for right now I mean for the girls this is just a temporary permanent pen because this is kind of how their pen is going to be but it's going to go further back and then um, I mean it might only be as wide as this but further back it's going to go each pen will go further back that we end up getting when we put up the actual goat fence that we want to put up and wood posts because we're going to do small four inch round wood posts when we go ahead and put all this up and I'm probably going to have this come over maybe just a little more into the middle of the barn and then come up to about right where it is now and then go back it'll probably be back on just side of this tree or that tree could be in there I don't know and then back but we're trying to stay away from um, our neighbor's property line and ours you know connect right to each other and that's what separates the properties but we want to keep at least five to six feet from there so we'll be back just enough to be able to still give them another area of more space for everybody because we want to utilize as much as we've got here at this top of the the beginning of the property I should say so I'm gonna stop talking and get to work so hopefully my next video I'll have this row done God willing So this is where I've got the tank for now. I want to be able to put it on the inside of this as soon as my husband can get that all cleaned out and whatnot. But they seem to be enjoying this. But I'm going to grab these two boys, him and him, I think, and I'm going to put them in the girls' pen for now where they were. I just hope that little one right there, Odessa's son, doesn't get out through the panels. But I think I'm going to grab Cecil and... Aladdin and put them in there. I'm going to grab their little um, water tote and put that in there for now. I know that we need um, another gate for the boys pen but my goal was just to get everybody moved into here and see how the big girls mingle with the smaller girls. I know there's going to be some bullying around but until then, I've just got a temporary gate up there. I was short, like, 
seven feet, so I just put what extra fencing we had that got um, taken down by the um, tree that was at the horse fence. Elijah and I just stepped on it and kind of straightened it out, and I just used it. Like I said, this is a temporary, permanent pin, temporary. So i got to really watch to make sure they're not chewing the bark off these, or I'm going to have to put some wire around them. They're already eating cow went over and ate all the poison ivy she could reach on that tree so I mean I, I'm pretty happy but I think that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna try to pull these boys out of there and then put them in the pen so they're by themselves but you know away from everybody so I have to talk to my husband what I'd like to do is actually put a 10 foot gate on the back of this I would like to have that done, but I don't know if we're, we can afford doing that. And then buying a whole nother gate for the boys' pen and everything else. But this is it, everybody. I'm happy with the way it ended up. And I just got to get them two naughty boys right there moved out. And uh, go from there. honest I don't even know if I said in the last clip whether this video was done or not but if I did I apologize but now I'm doing an ending part of the video so I can get it edited up and actually be in there I can tell you what I am totally exhausted I've got blisters everywhere I had one that already popped there I got one down there and on my other hand I don't know if you guys can see them or not I got a big one right there that needs pop I got another one and some down here on my palm and on the side right there. That's just ridiculous. I got someone spam calling me. They're always calling me. But <clears throat> I'm exhausted. So I, Elijah, when I went to go pick him up from band practice at 4, we came back. He carried down the one panel I needed and uh, put in the remainder of the post for me and then um, brought the one panel over and then helped me walk some of the that damaged um, field fence that the horses had when my husband dropped or accidentally pulled down that cherry tree on the fence um, we walked he helped me walk that down so we could put it on the two spots where the gate's supposed to go and then um, where the area is. I did end up grabbing the two boys and put them in the old girl's pen for now. Everybody was very loud when I was out there just carrying on. I'm not sure what I'm going to do about getting a bale put in there though. Um, I'm just not sure because I don't have an extra panel right now to actually put around it. And that's a downfall, you know, when it comes to that. It's just but I'm thinking maybe I can piece together some pieces of panels that I got to go across where my one panel is that I could use. And then that way the girls would be fed for a couple of weeks with the round bale. All the girls would be. And then, I don't know, my husband's on his way home right now. I think he's probably an hour away or so at the job site that he's working at. I haven't even asked him. Um, how far away he is from working from the house. But most of his jobs that they put him on have been quite a ways away. So he has to drive quite a ways. has to get up very early, about 3 o'clock, just to, you know, be able to feed and get everybody fed before he leaves in the morning and then get to work on time. But he always likes being um, about a half an hour early in case of traffic. There he is. So thank you everybody for watching. Please subscribe if you're new. Thank you to all our new subscribers. And we'll see everybody tomorrow. Next time. God bless.